Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. And you can see that Kelvin is enjoying himself by the fire, which I think has been burning for three days now. This is day five, and here's the thing, I need to acquire two items quickly, because things have been escalating very quickly. You can see that I actually have a uh, drying rack here, and I have some meat on there. I noticed that the cooked meat went bad very quickly, so I figure dried meat is the way to go. I also have a shelf in here. I'm looking around here in case someone shows up. Uh, I have a shelf in here, and I've placed a lot of my extra items there so that I can acquire more in the future. But like I said, we need to get out of here. The first item is going to require some backtracking, but it's kind of like I said, I need to get out of here before someone else shows up. I had a group on the other side of the water over here who thankfully had no idea how to use these rocks and among them was a very large red one and uh, they ran up the coast there. I guess they were going to come back down around this way like he does when he's doing logging but I think they forgot about me which is a good thing but I don't think they're going to forget about me in the future especially if they just come straight at us. So here is the thing. Let me just move away here. And let's pull out their GPS. Yeah, things respawn in the game, including the GPSs. You see that one right at the top there? I do believe that's our hanging friend. Uh, you can only have one of an item at a time, even though there's probably a flashlight over there now, so you couldn't pick up another one. Um, that's going to be useful in the future. Now, there is a... Um, there's a camp over there, and that's basically what I'm heading towards. And the camp has something that I need very badly. By the way, you might notice that the uh, leaves are getting very autumn-like. That's because winter is coming rather soon, hence the drying meat. I think I'm going to make another rack and see what I can do about fish. I think you can actually tell uh, Kelvin to get fish, too. So, I mean, that might be yet another wonderful use for him. All right, am I heading in the right direction? Actually, no, I'm heading this way. Now, I am going to be actually be heading in that direction. That's the beach. Because the second item we're going to be acquiring is, uh, shall we say, a lot more wet than I would have liked. What was that? Okay, hopefully it was some kind of a harmless animal. Yeah. I think I'm just going to keep on going here. And hope that somebody can catch up with me. Uh, here's the thing. Okay. Yeah, go away. Here's the thing. I really need a better weapon. And that's kind of what we're going for here. It's also a wonderful tool as well. All right. Let's head over this way and see if we can maybe lose him in the water. I mean, they don't seem to like the water, do they? As a matter of fact, I kind of escaped a bad incident by jumping into the water. All right, so let's just zoom in here. Now, you see at the top of the screen in the middle there, the GPS? There's a little bit of a broken break in the path, I should say. That's where we're going. You see, it appears that there is a camp there that has something that I desperately need. And I'm hoping we can get there before any uh, problems arise. All right. Yeah, it was very close by. If I had known about it, I would have stopped when we were getting... Uh, the flashlight from our fallen comrade, even though I guess he's probably back up there now, isn't he? All right, we should be arriving fairly soon. Then we're basically just going to head straight for the beach in order to acquire the next item. It's down there, isn't it? Um, trying to see. See, I can hear the beeping from the, the GPS I'm actually fairly close to. Is there going to be an opportunity to get down here without hurting myself? Because I don't want to hurt myself. I want to hurt others. Although not Kelvin and not uh, Virginia. Yeah, she actually got fairly close to me. Uh, I couldn't interact with her. You know, you know, talk to her or anything like that. Um, but she did get very close. Alright, so, and this is what I believe I was looking for. Sorry about the silence, but uh, yeah, there was a radio playing there and uh, YouTube. So I uh, had to kind of remove that. And I do believe that is what I'm looking for right there. 
Boom. That is the modern axe. And you know what we're going to do? We're just going to set that up right now. Let's see. All right, we're going to take out the stun baton. And we're going to put in the modern axe right there. All right. And then we're going to do this. And I'm going to hold on to that. All right, so that has a lot more damage than the previous axe. And also, it's very good at blocking. There also is a lot of other stuff apparently in the area here that I want to grab. Hello. Okay, let's grab some sodi pop. Okay, I got some duct tape over there. Just stay back. Okay, you, you want some of this? Okay, he just tripped all over himself, didn't he? You want some? You want some? Apparently not. Okay, you'll live longer that way. All right, let's see. What do we get here? Okay, printer resin. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to mention the printer resin. Some vodka. What else do we have here? Oh, we got another tarp. And some duct tape. Duct tape is really useful. And some more uh, energy drink. Very useful indeed. Okay, are they around here? I don't want to get jumped from behind. Okay, MRE. Very nice. Very nice. No more meds, though, huh? And, okay, duct tape. And I can't take any more batteries. Okay, and we got some more vodka. Okay, I guess that's it for the vodka. Okay, and some C4 and a grenade. Yet another grenade. Okay, uh, I guess that didn't work out too good. And I guess it didn't work out too good for him either. Maybe the two wandering around had something to do with this. All right, well, we're just going to keep an eye open on these. All right, did I get everything? Okay, uh, I can't pick that up. Unless I make another Molotov. Gonna do oh, we actually have somebody standing up on two legs over there, don't we? Okay, combine and combine and do this. All right, I should be able to pick that other one up now, right? Okay, I see multiple. Uh, so you know what? I'm just going to leave because I see a lot of them over there. All right, so let's just move along here. I'm not sure if this is actually near a encampment of theirs. It's just that, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to uh, have that fight. I mean, even if I was successful, it's not like it's at home and I can, uh, you know, basically cook them up for bones. So I see it as a situation that there's no reason to engage in. Okay, so the next order of business, I need to be able to situate... Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting close to one of their camps now. They usually don't yell that way unless there's a problem. Hold on. Let's just move down here for a moment. So that I can see what's going on. Alright, we'll just stand there for a moment. Okay, I'm looking at my GPS now. Alright, I'm heading that way. So I'm going to head that way. Because that little GPS indicator that's offshore, that's where we're going. Because there's something there that I also really, really want. And the irony is I may not be getting it for myself. All right. At least not initially. We'll have to see about that. You see, the way things work is that, as I mentioned, things basically respawn. Like, almost everything respawns. I don't know of anything that doesn't respawn. The thing is, you can only have possession of, like, items at one time. For instance, if I save the game, go back, there'll be another modern axe, but I can't hold more than one at a time. So, uh, there wouldn't be any purpose of doing that. However, if there was an item that was very good that I could give to somebody else, then I could go back and get it for myself. And no, I'm not talking about Kelvin. No, I'm not. Okay, so we are rapidly approaching the beach here. I'm just following this uh, river because I do believe it's going to outlet into the uh, into the ocean there. Right, how am I doing with everything? I'm a little low on the food department, but I mean, we just got some more food there, you know? All right, you know, I should probably... Can I pick any of these guys up? Yeah, because I made the... Um, the drying rack, and the drying rack ate up some of my uh, sticks, and I don't think I've recovered them. And I think I'm going to make another one of those, 
And I might do some fishing. Because then I could just hang the fish on the rack. Even though you can basically just um, eat the fish raw. Eh, there's some elements here of the game that I am having some minor issues with. Not the way it looks. It's just some of the survival aspects just don't really click for me very well. Especially if you're going to go from like the green game to this one. And realize eh, it's not heavy on the survival is it? All right, let's see here. Uh, let me pick these up. I'm just going to pick them up until I can't carry anymore. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to be taking a little bit of a swim. Unfortunately, we're not going to be the only ones that are swimming. And uh, that might end up becoming a big problem for me. All right, we're at the beach here. All right, I'm thinking what I want to do. I don't think we're going to have any problem with them. And uh, I don't need a GPS since I can already see where we're going. Right, so there's a raft out there. And the raft has something that we require. And um, there's company out there. If I have to say it specifically, I will just say shark infested waters. So I want to get out there and get back with a minimal of damage to me, of course. All right, and I gotta, I'm starting to get a little bit low there. I should probably eat something. How many of these do I have now? I have four. I mean, I just got one. Oh, you know what? Why don't we eat some crunchy wunchies? Sugar rush. All right, and I do have a lot, they had a lot of cans of energy drink there, and that's a wonderful thing. Because if you get tired, you really do need the energy drink, don't you? Okay, so I have a lot of energy now. Hopefully, I am not stuffing myself like a holiday turkey. All right, so we got this. This is going to be very useful. Not just for protecting ourselves and attacking. This guy is going to go through trees a lot quicker. See? Okay, so I killed the radio. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Emery, Emery, okay. Okay, um, oh, and he had some more energy drink. Okay, I had no idea. Okay, no more meds. <laughs> I may need meds afterwards. Okay, what is, oh, it's batteries. I don't need any more batteries. Oh, I, I had no idea that this situation was here. Okay, C4 and a grenade. Okay, what do you have there? A pistol rail. Okay, so there was a mod for the rail for the pistol. And he had a watch. I'm very sorry for your loss. For all of our loss. But I did get a lot of good stuff at that. How many MREs do I have now? Okay, I have six. That's uh pretty darn good right there. And he had another energy drink. Am I full on those now? Okay, well, you know, that worked out very well. For me. Yeah, I might need to stop back over there um, on the way back because I might very well need some healing. Is that a turtle? Oh, turtle! You know, I never really feel good about... Uh, is that something there? What is that? Oh, turtle egg. Okay, I'll just hold on to those. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I never really felt very good about killing them in the first game. The thing is, you needed the shells for the uh, rain collectors, you know? Yeah, getting good water was a struggle in the first game, but it made the game good. Now it's just, oh, just as long as you don't drink out of the ocean, everything is fine. As a matter of fact, who knows? Maybe that even works. All right, well, just in case something goes bad, I do believe I just got another tarp, didn't I? I actually have a lot of tarps here. All right, I have four tarps. So let's just put down a little save point here, just in case. Right, put that away and we'll put a stick in there yeah and we'll just throw a stick in there too okay so let me save my game all done now for the fun part i do believe i am in the place that's closest to it it certainly looks like it all right let's hope that uh, somebody's had a lot to eat 
and uh, and or maybe they're asleep right now, right? The fun part about this is I'm probably going to have to make this trip a second time. All right, so far so good. Okay, maybe there's uh, nobody around. Maybe there's nobody around. All right, everything looks good so far. Oh, ouch, until that. Yeah, I don't think that was one of the turtles. I do not believe that was one of the turtles. Okay, uh, I see a ladder. Up, 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 get, get, up, get, thank you. A little faster, please. Your legs are in the water and you're bleeding. That's a bad combo. Okay. Um, and there is what I am looking for. Okay, I heard a splash and it wasn't me. Oh, there you are! Showing off, are you? Ugh. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got another, MR another MRE and I got... Oh, I can't carry anymore. Well, you know, if I can't carry anymore, I'm going to eat one of them. By the way, I don't want that in my hand. Um, can I get pick that up now? Okay. Oh, wow. It's all... Now it's, it's gone now, isn't it? Uh, hold it a second. Can I reach it? No, it just fell through. You know what I was going to do? I was going to eat one of the ones that I had. But um, apparently not now. Oh, well. Uh, I do believe that you have something else. Don't you have the GPS? Did I pick the GPS off of you? Wait a minute. I must have picked it up. Okay, I don't remember doing that, but there's one way to find out. Yeah, I do. I, did. I picked up his GPS marker. You can actually use those. You can put them on a stick and mark a base. And when you become friends with uh, Virginia, you can actually give her one and then track wherever she is. Yeah, I was going to eat one of my own MREs and then, um, yeah, take that one. Unfortunately, it's gone. Uh, here's the thing. I am going to take uh, a med. I love the fact that I can carry all of these cans here, but I can only carry, what, six of these little guys? Even though, let's face it, they're more important. Well, I do have more meds on the, uh, the shore, uh, courtesy of our friend, um... Okay, hold on a second. Uh, can I just stand on top of you for a moment? There we go. Go away. Go far away. I guess maybe I'm just going to wait for him to get to the other side and then make a run for it. Kind of like now! Okay, my energy hopefully will hold out the whole way. Hopefully he hasn't noticed me. I mean, it did take a bite out of me the first time. But it wasn't that much damage, and I think there was some extra meds waiting on the shore over there. But of course, I'm not going to turn around and see if he's behind me, because I don't want to know if he's behind me. When I get to the shore, I'll turn around. Okay, I am starting to run out of um, energy now, but I do believe I'm in shallow water. Okay, come on, up you go. Okay. All right, I don't see the fin. What is that? Oh, is that another turtle? Okay. Well, if I need turtles for some reason, I do know where they are. Pray you don't see me again. Well, I shouldn't say that because I might be making another trip out there. Okay, so where is my tarp? First things first. I do believe I need a med replacement here, and I think there was one here. Yep, there, right there. Okay, so I replaced the one that um, I used. Now, I wouldn't mind being able to pick up the radio and bring it with me. What is that? Okay, it's a, it's a bottle. Wow, you had a lot of water before you were done. You know, you can just go over to the little river there and just drink from it, right? Can I have the pot? The bones would be useful, too. All right, so let me go over here and get this. Because I don't need this here anymore. 
All right, so you, where is it right here? There we go. Um, there we go. It's having some trouble with that. And then I'll take that back. And then I'll take that back. And then I'll put that away. Okay, so let's um, get out my toys. No, I didn't want the rock. I want that. And then, of course, I want that. Okay, so we got the two items that I wanted, and uh, I guess we could just head back to base. Uh, you really fo- oh. I guess maybe if he has no orders, he's just gonna follow you? Alright, I was kinda hoping that you would stay at the base, dude. That way I could actually, like, follow the K. But then again, I do know where I live, because it's a very distinctive location. Right up there. All right, so let's get back there, and hopefully nothing has torn it apart. Of course, maybe that's the reason he's here, is because they were it was under attack, and he didn't want to be there by himself. Oh, well. All right, so let's head back to base and, um, and start doing some stuff. I do have some construction I want to do. I do believe we are starting to close in on our base. I'm sure Kelvin will catch up with us eventually. Uh, I have noticed, however, that the wind seems to be picking up a bit. It seems to be howling. So I guess that's a warning that winter is coming. Now, I've been looking at the house and uh, I was trying to decide what kind of roof I wanted to place on it. Because, you know, if I go with the, uh, the little, you know, like, peaked roof situation, you know, um, it's going to take a lot more resources to do, and I don't know how much I want to invest in this one. All right, I don't need that anymore, that's for sure. And that seems to be still dripping, so I'm guessing that's not dried out yet. So I'm thinking I might go with something a little simpler. I'm going to have to keep my eyes open in case somebody shows up because we're going to have to defend our camp. All right. One thing is that what you can do is boom like this so we can go up here. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to need is a support beam right there. All right. And I'm going to be using these too, but I figured let me use these first. And as I understand, you can actually tell um, Kelvin to get those. All right, I'm going to put that there. And then we're going to put that there. And I do believe I need another one over here. All right, so let's do this. And like here. Like I said, you would have to have them coming up higher and then coming at angles. And yeah, it's like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Because this area, I guess I'd have to build a big old fence here, but I have to cover that area too. I know they're not going to come from this side because they don't seem to know how to do it. I know Kelvin doesn't either. So I'm just thinking I just might want to put a roof on it. And if you wonder what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I would need more of these uh, support beams, but you know, in this kind of a situation, I'm talking about that. And just put a roof on it like that. Let me just grab some more of these guys here. Uh, I need C. I need C. Alright, and then we can put something here. Okay, and that one... Is that going to fly off if I do that? I hope not. Alright, hold it a minute. Right, If I, I have a feeling if I did that, it would just fly off. And I don't want to go chasing it. All right, let me just grab two more of these. All right, and we'll put this here. And, okay, can we just throw something in there? There we go. Okay, and, okay, but it flew off. Exactly what I thought was going to happen. All right, there we go. And then we'll put this one here. Okay, so that's a third of it done. Now, obviously, I'd need some more uh, logs, but you kind of get the general idea what I'm talking about. I mean, it's a roof. For now, I think it'll do. Although, I should start working on one thing here. Where is it now? 
All right, it's over here. Storage, storage, furniture. That's what I'm looking for. Very specific item I'm looking for too, which is a stick bed. All right, so R. Put it right there. And I actually am full on sticks right now, so I should be able to... Boom, there we go. And here's a whole bunch of duct tape, apparently, too. So I can actually save and, uh, of course, um, sleep there now, too. So, uh, Kelvin can have that. Any problems? I don't see anybody coming just yet. All right, so why don't we just grab these, uh last two and i think one of these has to be here and can i put the other one there for now like that there we go so i'll need one more going this way one more going this way another one going this way and then of course i'll need to be able to do the top so i think i can tell kelvin to just put um logs into those and i can go help him too especially now with my fantastic axe uh, but I do actually want to put rails over there because if I knock the trees down, then I don't want them going into the lake. And it is really starting to get a little bit dark. All right, so we'll brighten it up a little bit as much as we possibly can. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a relatively peaceful night. Not getting any visitors over here, are we? Yeah, the wind... Wind is kind of strong. Wind howling. Still not done? Yeah, I should probably make another one of those and see about fishing. Can I see any fish in here? I have been here for a while. Right? Um, here, over here. Any fish in there? Oh, we got fish. I feel kind of vulnerable over here. All right, let's just see about this. Hello? Anybody there? I just saw you a moment ago. Well, not for nothing, it is a little bit on the dark side now, isn't it? Here. I mean, I, maybe they're all going to bed. Maybe that's it, right? They're all going to bed. And you know what? That's actually probably not a bad idea, especially since I do have a nice new bed of my own. Now, I could also hang up lights... The problem with that is that I think... Oh, 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 how are you? Oh, no, no, put that away. Hello. You heard I have a new bed. Hi. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, do you, can I... I can't, I can't interact with you yet. All right, because I actually have something I could do which would have been really good. I saw one of the little ones running around. I don't see anybody else, and I don't see that one anymore. Did she run off? Because I didn't see her. Oh, she's sitting down by... Okay. Um, I'm guessing I have a new friend now? I I'm okay with that. I don't see... Maybe she liked the fact that I was... Oh! Okay, and I do see the little one over there. You okay, dude? All right. Okay. Where are you? Oh, you're going to throw rocks at me, huh? Is that what you're going to do? Come on. You know what I can shoot at you? know what I can throw at you? I can throw bullets at you. Okay, I see two of them now. Okay, well, you know what? They don't seem to want to mess with us just yet. By the way, dude, we have company. Yeah, I know. You're pointing at them. I see them. Just, okay, here. Hello. Get 
Okay, dude, you're right. Okay, hold on a second. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha, dude. I gotcha. Where are you? Come on. Boom, you're dead. Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? What's the matter? You mad? Okay, they are starting to hurt me a bit. Come on, come to me. 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 No? All right, where's that body? I want to pick it up. It does take a while to swim. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. All right, hold on a minute. And I think I need to have some meds fast. Okay, well, she's enjoying the fire, so I don't think dumping a corpse onto it right now would really endear me very well, now would it? But I do believe that we have a friend. Right. I could apparently use some water, too. Okay, that's not good. Where are you? Get over here. How dare you go anywhere near her? Okay, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I interact with you yet? Hold it. Put the gun on. Put that away. No? Okay, I was looking... I probably was too forward. Here's the thing. I was going to give her something if I could interact with her. Is it dead? All right, I killed two of them. All right, first things first. I need... I know I killed another one. I'm going to put this away. Okay, she's coming over there. She's running away. All right, where's the other one? I killed one... Over here? There it is. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing with this, I'm going to be taking rope, and I'm going to be using duct tape, and I'm going to be making myself some armor. Oh, did I forget a leg? I think I forgot a leg. I guess the last one just ran for it. The problem with that is he might tell his friends about that. And apparently, I'm tired. So doing a fight right now would probably be a very bad idea. Yeah, she just went by our campfire and just lied down there. I guess she felt safe. I guess I got a little bit too close, though. I think we're close, though. I do believe it. See, I was actually going to, uh... I, I was going to give her the gun. Because apparently she's really good with the gun. I wish you were good with a gun. I'd get you a gun. But let's face it, you're not. You might have been once, but not now. And I have a whole bunch of bones. So what I'm probably going to start doing, because I do have some bones. So let's throw in some of that, some of that. And then one, two, three, four. And then we're going to make some armor. That's bone armor. That's the easiest stuff you can make. And if you equip it, you see down here, I have one piece of armor. So why don't we just do a little bit more. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. And then we'll throw some duct tape in. Throw some rope in. And then we'll make some more. And then, of course, we're just going to equip that. All right. So I might as well just do this because I have a whole bunch of bones waiting for me now, don't I? One, two, three, four. And I think I have a decent amount of rope. I have eight more rope left, so that's pretty good. And I have 39 duct tape, so... 
right, and we'll just do that. And then I'll go picking up the, the uh, bones that are lying around because otherwise they're going to vanish, aren't they? So let's just grab whatever we can. And I think that's going to be about it for now. You all right there? I think that's going to be it for now. The axe is pretty good. The axe is pretty good. I am tired though, so... I think I did have some problems. It was also dark, so I couldn't see very well. But I do believe that's going to be it for now. Uh, so we have two new weapons, the modern axe and the pistol. Didn't want to waste shots on those guys because, like I said, kind of planning on giving the first pistol to her. Once I have that done, because apparently she's a killing machine with a pistol with endless ammunition, I'm going to go get one for myself. Then I'll actually use the mod on that. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe say something in the comments for the Great God Algorithm, and of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention, I really appreciate it, and play games, because games are fun. Where is he going? See ya!